Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you the most powerful trick in photo editing. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer sharing my industry secrets with you, so maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel for free. Also, this time I want to ask you what do you think is the most underrated photo editing software out there other than Affinity Photo? Write it in the comments and tomorrow I'm going to have a live stream 8 p.m. CET. So join that. I will show you my new creative pack for winter landscape lights. Really cool, very powerful, lots of tricks throughout the live stream. Don't miss that. Okay, let's get started with this tutorial. So here we go. The most powerful trick is a rectangle. Sounds crazy, but listen, you use it like this. Go over here on the left side to your rectangle tool and then drag out the rectangle over all of your image. And you want to click here on fill because that's the fill color of your rectangle. Click there and then here you have a pop down menu. Make sure you switch over to grayness as a setting and then set the gray value here to 50. So you have a medium gray. That's very important. Good. The next thing you want to do is to switch your blend mode over here where the layer tabs is. Click there, switch it to luminosity down here and you can already see that some colors pop up, but you can make these colors more visible by putting an adjustment layer down here, adjustments and then vibrance between your rectangle and the photo like so and then push this up in the saturation. So this will really superpower your colors. And now you can clearly see that we have here blue values and up here we have orange values and red orange values. And this is incredibly powerful. First of all, what this does is it removes everything from your picture other than the colors and it tells you which are the dominant colors in your picture. Now, why is that so important? Because now that you know that, you can specifically focus your editing on these two colors, make them more dominant, make them more visible and make the picture look better overall. Let's have a look on how that works. So we can basically delete these two layers that we have created so far. Boom, boom. So this is our image. And this, by the way, is the edited version. And this is the original version where you can see here, it is way harder to actually see the colors in here. This is kind of brown and yellow. And mm, what is this? It's orange and it's red and orange. So that's pretty important. And down here, we have a nice blue, even though this looks very close to gray, right? How does this exactly help us? Now, for example, we can go in here with adjustments and create a selective color adjustment. And when this pops up, you can see that here, when we click on color, we have our different channels in here. We have red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, and then of course also white, neutral, and black. And now that we know what the main, the dominant colors in our picture are, we can focus on those. So let's go with red first, reduce the blue a little bit in the red area and pump up the red. You can see how this influences that area. See, I move this around, it changes this color there. And then I also pump up the yellow a little bit. So this makes it more intense. And this also helps you to create the color and the look that you actually want to have in your picture. This is why this is so powerful and so important. Let's go to the next one that's going to be yellow. You can see there is some yellow in there because orange has yellow in it, right? So again, remove the blue from it mostly and then pump up these other values. So this is helpful. We can ignore the green. There's no green in the picture, but the cyan's are important because cyan is some, what we have down here, cyan is a blue value, right? Okay, so push up the blue. And then you can see when I move the magenta, this changes the blue tone that I have here on my water or ice, right? So I can have it more green or I can have it more blue. And the same goes with yellow, where you can push those around and you can make it more or less intense. It is pretty, pretty powerful. Let's zoom out here a little bit and then go to the blues again, make the blue uh, more intense and then again move around your magenta. And this is really important to understand. 
This helps you to set up the exact blue tone that you want to have in here because you don't have to go with what's in the picture. You want to go with what's in your mind, what's in your heart, what you feel towards the image because art is an expression of yourself, right? Of what you feel in the image, right? So this is why this is very, very important. So when we move this around, you can decide what kind of blue is this gonna be, right? What kind of expression do I wanna have in my image? So let's go like this, for example. Let's see, that looks pretty good. Okay, good. So now we have the magentas again. Play around a little bit with that. Just go with your eyes. And then we have the white values. I'm just going to see, let's push this down a little bit. You can see here it's getting darker. So if you look at the tree line up here, we're going to get some more details if I push this over. Here you can see, in this case, when I push it here, it's blown out. If I push it over here, it brings back some details up there. Good, so let's go with the neutrals here. Um, yes, we can push this a little bit down if we want to. And then I can push this over a little bit in the cyan. Magenta, let's leave this in the middle. Yellow, yes, we can push this a little bit to the left, like so, that's good. And then black. Look at this area over here for a second. You can see if I push this over, I get some more details in here also. See, if it's like this, it's almost gone, it's almost invisible. If I push it over here, I get these beautiful little details here on the surface of the eyes. So with just one adjustment, you can see that we have dramatically changed the image and we have also separated out the colors where this is now distinctively blue and this is distinctively orange. So that's pretty important. And of course, now you can do some more adjustments if you want to. We can go up here for vibrance. Let's reduce this a little bit and then push this up. Um, and then we could also go with a curve, like the classic adjustments that you would do also in your images, like so. Maybe that's a little bit too much here. Let's go like this. That looks pretty good. Okay. Pretty cool. Is there something else we want to do? We could also go for uh, color balance, for example, to just balance this in a little bit, like so. Let's see, that looks pretty good. What do we want to do here? Let's go like so. And there we go. As you can see, now there is a clear difference between the earth parts and our lake parts. If we compare this to before, let's duplicate this, move it up here. You can see that this drastically changed the image and also made it more visible what is what in the image. A lot more clear, a lot more satisfying to look at. That's the tutorial for today. Join my live stream tomorrow. Don't forget about that. Also, maybe join my Facebook group, which is very cool with a lot of amazing people in it. See you soon and have a lot of fun. Bye.